Hey, what's up guys? Getting close to hunting season here. I wanted to kind of do a quick video on uh, my hunting rifle setup and maybe help you guys out if you're looking for a new rifle or, or my experiences with this particular rifle. It's a uh, Tika T3X. This particular one's in 308. And uh, this has been one of the best triggers on a rifle I've ever got out of the box. Um, I have a Remington 700 that I built up for a long range gun and I had to put a Timney trigger in it, do some upgrades. And actually this trigger on this Tika out of the box is better than the Timney that's in, that I put in my Remington. So uh, trigger wise, this thing is awesome. This is a true sub MOA gun. Uh, with my hand loads, I can shoot, as long as I do my part, obviously, um, I can shoot sub MOA. I mean, I've shot a, ha a three shot half inch crew with this thing before, kind of cherry picking, you know, best of the best, but it shoots sub MOA all day long. Um, usually averages about, like 0.80 or so when I measure them out uh, with three shot group. And this one I set up, I just rattle canned it, you know, just a quick rattle can job. This is a T3X compact light. So it comes with a shorter stock. I put the spacer on and then this is a, uh, uh, like a limb saver gel pad on the back here. Uh, the scope I ran, I ended up putting a Leopold Varex 3i. They make them two ways. This is a 30 millimeter tube with the side focus. Uh, kind of one of the, the bigger tube has more adjustment uh, for your drop. Uh, comes with the CDS ticket. I haven't ordered the CDS cap yet because the data I have, I'm going to have to change here pretty soon in California because the rounds I load, um, I load the, uh, the Hornady uh, AMAX bullets and I'm going to have to go to, uh, what is it, uh, like the Barnes X bullets. So I'm going to have to get a whole new set of data on it, you know, all the do all my calculations different and all that stuff. So at that point, I'll probably then order the CDS for the new round once I build it and get all my data. But kind of bummer because I got about three years of data on this round here. So I'll have to start all over again with the Barnes X uh, while I'll probably run the, the tip triple shock is what I what I end up ordering. I haven't loaded them yet, but that's what I ordered uh, to go to. But uh, as far as the throw goes, you know, the lever's got a nice throw to it. Clears the scope nice. Um, this scope is really clear, really clean for the money. They're not really expensive as far as optics go. I want to say you can pick them up uh, like on Lambo's Armory or something for about the $600 mark, uh, give or take. Uh, I like this one because it does have the uh, exposed turret. So if you if you reload and you have data or if you just have data on the round you buy, your drops, you can put your drop chart on your stock and then you shoot out, you know, three, four, five hundred 500 yards. Um, and it works nice. You don't have to uncap it. I like to cap windage, especially on a hunting rifle, so don't get bumped because I don't dial windage. This has the windplex reticle, so I get, uh, I think there's two MOA slashes on either side to adjust for windage for your holdovers. So I don't dial windage, so that's nice that it's capped. Um, and then your side focus. But this gun, uh, like I said, is a dream to shoot. It's, it's a little punchy in 308 because it is a light rifle. Um, but as far as the, you know, the trigger goes, the trigger is, I mean, smooth. There's no creep in it. It's adjustable. I want to say I have it set on the higher end right now, um, probably about three and a half pounds or so, uh, but I mean there's just no creep to it. I didn't want something super light on it, it'll, it'll actually adjust down lighter than that, but uh, I keep it right about, probably right about three, three and a half pounds or so, and uh, it's been a good rifle. I've shot actually a few deer with it already, hopefully I can, I can bump those numbers up this year with it, and uh, it's, like I said, it's been a good setup guys, and they're not they're not on, you know, super expensive. They're, I want to say retail on them somewhere in the seven hundred dollar mark uh, for the rifle. You figure about six for the scope, and these rings are uh, warranty rings. I paid about forty dollars, I think, for the rings, and they're nice heavy duty rings. They're made for the Tika. They haven't moved at all, haven't any kind of slippage out of them. Uh, so I, I try to buy, you know, nice stuff within reason. So if I'm out in the field and I, you know, it falls over from the truck or or you're in a sitting next to a tree and it falls over, you're not totally lost one. Oh no, dude, this thing's not going to be zeroed. I try to buy heavy duty enough equipment that's going to withstand some small impact or whatever out in the field and you're not going to have to worry about it. So like I said, I kind of buy once, cry once, you know, it's my theory on especially hunting gear, something that you're taking out. And uh, like I said, I'm going to Montana this year. So it's definitely not something I want to drag all the way to Montana, you know, stop to stop by a tree, lean it over and it fall over. And then I'm I'm out, you know, I, I can't hunt because I got to re-zero my rifle or something like that. So it's been a good rifle, guys. Uh, if, you, if you're in the market, you can also get three round. It comes with three round mags. You can also get a five round mag. And these mags aren't 
super expensive either. Um, I know on the, I believe it's the CTR uh, magazines are really expensive. These aren't, I want to say they're about 35, 40 bucks a piece or something as opposed to almost a hundred, I think on the CTR versions. So anyways, there it is guys. That's, that's my hunt setup. This is what I'll be using this year. Uh, that's what I'll be dragging to Montana and hopefully getting something with it. So I want to bring that to you. If you're in the market for a new deer rifle, definitely give them a look. Uh, Tika is kind of weird. Uh, they didn't really stand out to me until a buddy had one and I shot it and I really liked it. Uh, it's not as mainstream as you think, you know, you hear a Remington or Winchester or something, but uh, these Tikas are, are extremely accurate rifles and they come with probably, like I said, the best trigger I've ever felt out of a box on a production gun. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And your wife shot her first deer with hers. Yeah, my wife shot her first deer with hers. She actually has the same rifle. <laughs>